morning everybody welcome to Annabelle's Finquita yesterday we had a super huge storm with a lot of rain but today it's not raining so let's go in the coop and show you what we did good morning masajeras okay guys we already built the next thing boxes I noticed they've been uh, checking it out because there are feathers inside see we built three I think that's good enough because we only got 15 and um, we raised the ro roosting bars they usually up here when they go to sleep the higher the better and we did this one that way they can jump from the floor here and then from here to the higher one Ven, brinca. Come. Brinca. <laughs> look Ooh, good job see how they do it <laughs> and like I said the other side is not it's so messy right now but here we're gonna have a couple goats probably which is waiting for the fence to be built yeah this side will be the goat side and this other here where the masajeras are yes guys that is ready for you guys to lay eggs next month. Yeah, they're gonna turn five months old in July. And that's usually when they start laying. So I'm excited to see that. So that's it. Oh, wow, you jump. Wow, you see, they jump from the higher one to the... <laughs> hey, Masahera, you wanna come on mommy? Huh? Come. Good job. Wow. <laughs> Hi, darling. ¿Cómo tú estás? Okay, let me put that in my leg like this. Yes. I'm standing, guys. Hello. ¿Cómo tú estás? ¿Qué tú haces ahí? <laughs> They're so funny. Okay, go down now. Down, 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 down. Go down, go down. I'm gonna stand up. Go, go, yay! Okay, bye. <laughs> bengan, bengan. Come outside. Yay! <laughs> Guys, look at the hummingbirds. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. potato update oh ooh, there's a ladybug there hello <laughs> okay these plants are growing they look like palm trees <laughs> here's one flea beetle they're eating my leaves it is and look there's another one there I don't like those. They're putting holes in all my leaves. Look at this. But I use some baking, baking soda powder with water and I spray the plants and I use neem oil too. But some of them, most of them went away, but I still got beetles. Look at this. Uh, but at this point there's nothing I can do so look it's flowering the potatoes are flowering yep you have to fight the pest the best you can but sometimes 
There's no much you can do. There's new plants coming out here. That's the, the small potato. These ones are the last that I plant. Um, I had some extra potatoes in my kitchen. They were getting old and I plant them and these are the ones growing now. But the rest are huge. Let's go through here. These are beets. Uh, it did rain a lot yesterday. We had a big storm I and mean, a lot of water round down the hill. And um, the seeds went everywhere. So as you see, they're not very organized coming out in different places. <laughs> everywhere there's a bunch here all together but that's fine hey guys I plant some watermelons here hey that's a watermelon this one too something was eating my leaf or it broke down with the water you know it looks like it broke down with the water that's probably what it was there's a kale plant there and these are another two watermelons oh here too this one broke down too hmm. okay well we'll see what happens they're kind of weak because we've been having a lot of rain and a lot of a good thing is bad too here are the bits. Um, this is lettuce. It's growing beautifully. All this road is lettuce. My ahika chucha are growing. Yes, they are. They're getting taller. Look. My green peppers, my red bell peppers. This is wheat. My red bell peppers. Getting taller too. These are zucchini squash. This one are so happy. They love water. Look at that. Look at that. But yes, we did it. We did have a huge storm yesterday. It did rain a lot for like 15, 20 minutes. And these are the two rows of cucumbers. My tomato plants. My sunflowers growing there. My tomato plants are looking green. And pretty and they're starting to flower <laughs> look at the squash there on the other side of the tomato there's one two three four five six and seven you're so beautiful yep these are all my cucumbers Cucumbers everywhere. Look at this one when she decided to grow. The seed came down. <laughs> yeah. Look. Cucumbers. Gonna have a lot of cucumbers. Cucumbers. More squash. This is another type of squash. This was. I just. I just dropped the seeds here and as you see without compost the ground the soil is really rich because look at the size of these plants without compost and look at the size of these ones with compost <laughs> so sometimes you just have to try what you have first which is this soil instead of adding so many things but yeah, I'm learning, guys. I'm still learning a lot, and I will be learning all my life. 
and I like to experiment new things all the time. These plants are the remaining of my garden that I planted um, back in December. I just tear down the shell, put it away, and I took them outside. My parsley, my cilantro, I have oregano here, and those are basil. I have cut so many of these plants for cooking and they grow back. So it's like a perennial garden here, you know, in a forever garden that you can use for your kitchen and cooking.